Number two, he compares treatment human beings. He will make comparisons so that you can have empathy for plants. Empathy is when you put yourself in the shoes of others. Means you will keep think that if what if I were a tree? In that way, what is comparing it relies. He's going to compare. Then cutting a tree does not lead to its end. Or say that if you cut a tree, there is root in the soil. It will regrow. It will regenerate it. So according to you, you are cutting a tree, that is not the end. And you have to uproot it. So it's not that easy. Actually, poet is trying to convey from the third point. Yes, Ashna Sadam. Continuously, you are just looking at the and talking. Want to continue? So, third point, poet is saying that it's very difficult to kill a tree. It is not that easy as you think it to be. Clear? All the three points, third meaning are written in the book itself. So, let's start the explanation. Anybody who speaks will be explaining what I recently said it here only. So I do not want any sort of disturbance when I teach. This is your learning. Do not give right to others to destroy your learning. So Sunday will joke that it's important for you or your learning. Parents are sending you. Learn only. Let's start. You must have observed people cutting down trees, but can they kill a tree? Is it easy to do so? Let's read the poem and find out what the poet says on killing the tree. So in the beginning, the kind of fine introductory paragraph is given that we have already discussed. It takes first time, Zabita, keep pencils in your hand. It takes much time to kill a tree, not a simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown slowly, consuming the earth, rising out of it. Feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its laborious hide, sprouting leaves. So, poet here is trying to say that the process of, of the process to kill a tree is very lengthy. It's tedious. It's difficult. Right? Tedious and difficult, one and same thing. Last two boys, stand up. Stand up, I said. You're not writing anything regarding it. We're still discussing the last text. The past is over, let it be. Will it change your marks? If it can change your marks, then you can continue. So, not a simple jab. Sudden rough blow. When you cut a tree, you have to continuously give rough blows to it, then it cuts down. Right? So he said, not a, it's not that easy to cut a tree. You have to put in continuous efforts. Right? So a simple cut does not destroy a tree. Simple explanation is single blow or jab will not cut down a tree. Fine. Poet says a tree grows gradually. It's time. It, means it takes time. I am not able to concentrate today you in your class. When I start teaching, one person speaks. Then I continue, the other one speaks. That is more important for you. So, a plant takes nutrition from the soil to grow that you know the scientific process that is not going to be changed here. Yeah, that is just the same. Online children, are you getting me? So the tree is firmly bound with the soil. What does it require? Okay, raise your hand. If we want to plant, plant a tree, we want to make it a big tree. What does a tree require? Yes, Christy. Air, water, sunlight. Yes, soil. Fine. So, fertile land also. So, you need so many natural things only for that. So, poet says that it has a plant takes nutrition from the soil to grow into a big tree. Stand up, please. Yes. The tree is firmly bound with the soil. Clear? It is bound with the soil. 
it takes sunlight it takes water air to grow into a strong trunk right and it has numerous leaves and they grow out of it's a process it takes its energy from the soil only from sunlight from air from water clear so hack and chop but this alone won't do it in the next stanza poet says
So in a twirling way, again, if you cut the tree, it can emerge out, right? Green twigs, miniature bough, miniature means very small in size. Small branches will again emerge out of the trunk. Bough again comes in. Which is which if unchecked will expand again. Means if you keep on checking them, you can cut them again or approve them. But if it remains unchecked, you know, if you remain, if they remain unchecked, it will come back again. Standard students will also complete them. All the other students who are standard, you can complete them. Which if unchecked will expand again to former size. Former means which was earlier. Before it was already there. So poet is in the second stanza, poet compares the tree with the tree that yes, blood comes out of the branches, they get pain, painful process they have to go through, but even then, if you keep on and fixing them, they will grow back. You cut them, they will come back to their former size if you if they remain unchecked by you. Clear? Any doubt to anyone? Let's continue next stanza. No, the root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be robbed. Meaning of anchoring earth is written on the next page. Trees are held securely with the help of the roots in the earth. Okay, anchoring earth meaning of the Underline anchoring earth in the poem and wrote, wrote down the meaning here. Trees are held securely with the help of roots in the earth. Okay. Yeah, the meaning is written on page 111. Okay. 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 I repeat, now the root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth, it is to be robbed, retired and pulled out, snapped out, or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave, and the strength of the tree exposed, the source white and wet, the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth, underlying earth cave. Earth cave, this is also metaphor directly. Earth's comparison is made with the cave. Metaphor. Underline. Earth cave. Underline white and wet. Elevation. White and wet meta online children. Am I audible? Underline white and wet. Alliteration. Yes, poetic device. Alliteration. And earth cave is metaphor. One more uh, device is used in the whole stanza. Can anyone tell me? One more pointing device is used in this third stanza. Who is going to? Without it for? Beta, go through the whole stanza. It is not based on one line. What is the writing word? Why can we do? I already found it. Celebration. Repetition. Nobody is able to speak that. So, pull it out is repetition here. Device of repetition. When they give to, why would we use repetition when there is need to stress on particular thing? Right? Pull it out. So, poet says, that in order to kill the tree, once you listen carefully, you prepare one question at least, long one. So poet says, in order to kill the tree, it has to be uprooted, go down. It has to be uprooted. One has to separate the tree from the earth, which supports it. What is the support system of the tree? Earth. 
Anchoring earth. Anchoring earth means earth is the support system of the tree. It, you know, clutches it in a proper form way. That it does not fall easily. Does not, we are not able to cut it. So we keep on searching whose notebook is this. Let's trace the time in this one. So poet says, the roots of the tree bind the tree with the soil in the pit of the earth, okay? And from there, most sensitive and hidden part of the tree. What is the most sensitive? What is the most sensitive and hidden parts of the tree? Sensitive and hidden both, roots. So poet says, that the roots have to be detached. Cutting a tree is not building a tree. It will twirl back, it will rejuvenate, it will emerge back to its former size. But you have to detach the roots. Find the roots are white in color. They are becoming damp with the moisture. Fine? So poet says, I'm just saying that you have to remove the roots or uproot the roots. Otherwise, it will it un remain unchecked. It will be the form of something. Then, the matter, better, more sensitive and hidden. I have you underlined. This is roots. This phrase is used for roots only. For years inside the earth. Yeah. The last chance, and I'm going to ask the ones who are very good students, very good, you know my mean. Then the matter of scorching and choking. Scorching and choking means that drying up of the tree after being uprooted. Meaning is again written on the book only. Same page. Last word meaning. Scorching and choking, the drying up of the tree after being uprooted. It is written. Yes. So poet says, once the tree has been uprooted, after that, what will happen? Clear? First answer. We discuss. 